Okay, this is now, instead of the PD and Pi synth, it is the Rainbow Pi synth um, using Cycling 74's new Rainbow objects um, and compiler. So, uh, basically, what this is is a granulator that you create that I created. Well, they created, and then I made use of it for my own purposes here um, in the rainbow objects, and then you send it over to the Pi, and the patch gets loaded onto the Pi. If you reboot the Pi, then it will load that patch, and the Pi has its own system that Cycling74 made specifically for this. Then when you send the patch over, you also get a handy dandy web interface that shows you when you turn knobs and things like that, that things are happening. So this is useful for debugging and scaling and other things. And then really behind all this, so I have my handy dandy trusty PySynth here, which has the eight buttons and eight knobs and the display. Um, in this case, I can turn on the harpsichord granulator. Haven't really updated the LCD and everything yet. And uh, to send all of the buttons and the knobs to um, Rainbow, I have this um, Python script. And this was here before for pure data, but I was able to trim it down um, a bit and make it a little more efficient for the rainbow things, it just uses OSC. So there's no more wiring Pi and dealing with PD and all of that on the Pi. So um, this on the laptop has nothing to do with the sound you're gonna hear. So if I turn up the volume, you'll hear, it's just a basic granulator with, in this case, it's a longer harpsichord sample so I can, Control the number of grains here. And then we have the um, start point in that sample. And then you can control, um, this is now going to be how long the grains are. You can get these smaller grains and then go into this sort of thing. Anyway, you get the idea. So Rainbow works. Uh, it's working on, this is a Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And this is a pretty big sample. And I'm assuming the granulator does quite a bit of stuff to it. Um, and it's going through the USB out through just a, you know, real basic Focusrite Scarlet um, interface. So there you go. Updated. No longer PD. And PySynth, it is the rainbow PySynth, so you can create patches in Max, which I know way better than I know Pure Data, so that is helpful. Anyway, there you go. Bye.